Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're gonna move up to week number two. I've already explained how we're gonna be approaching this all in the first a week and what we're going to do now is that we're gonna move on and we're gonna be moving to the instructions. So in this video we are going to do rounds number 11 through 25. So we're gonna be doing a whack of rounds today and then we're gonna get ourselves then ready to then hit number week three and four. So without further ado let's go take a look at the instructions and see what we're gonna get ourselves into today. So on page number two we're gonna carry on and I just put an arrow that where I left off and now I'm gonna move for rounds number 11 through 25. What I like to do is that I like just to go through the pattern and circle the color that I'm gonna be doing. Also my balls are marked as well with those same colors so that I can keep those in the same color order. So let's do that. You're also going to be moving on then into page number three as we're continuing along and I've also put a note that round 25 the last one we're gonna be using a smaller hook just for that round and then that's where we're gonna stop today. So I might as well put an arrow and that's where we're gonna stop and then we're gonna carry on in the next one. Let's take a look at the diagram and that's gonna be an interesting one for those that don't know how to follow diagrams because it's gonna change a little bit today. When we examine wink number one we have then a complete Mandela here and it just says expanding out and it gives you the idea of it moving it like a clock. Well in week number two and all the rest of the weeks we're only gonna be looking at splices of the round circle because it is a repeat pattern as we're continuing along. So all you have here is that we're gonna pick up and in gray is already round number 10 that we've done and so we're gonna pick up and start in round number 11 and work our way up. So because there's a repeat pattern here it shows you what is happening uh, at the stitch at the slip stitch at the beginning and it shows you the repeat pattern but I'm also gonna take you just through this and you will see that it's like a clock it just ching ching and it's a, it's a matter of just repeating. So let's uh, begin to move on and we're gonna start then on round number 11 and we're gonna be picking up our colors and get our hook ready and let's go take a look at the sample now. So when I last left you here's what our color story is going to be and then we're gonna move up today. We're gonna start with uh, A as our first color for round number 11. I have everything marked, the balls are marked so it's gonna be back to this main color like we have right in the beginning. So let's go and let's grab our hook and let's really begin. So going back down here on the diagram and what we have here is that we're gonna be starting off and I'm gonna start you off with the standing single crochet. We covered that in week one already and we're going to chain two, skip one and single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip the next one and single crochet the next. So this pattern as you're doing it all the way around the first time it's gonna be single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain one and then skip one and single crochet. And so the next one after this will be chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next. So you see that it's showing you the repeat as we're going around. Let's begin. So I can see where I started before. I'd like to always start the one just before it just because that's what I do. So I'm just gonna do a standing single crochet and it's already on the hook so I'm just gonna pull through and then there will be two loops pull through the two and that's a standing single. So the very first one out of the gate is that we are going to chain two and skip one. I'm gonna bury that in later. I've already shown how to fasten those off at, on video number one. So I'm gonna skip one and single crochet into the next. Then the repeat pattern is chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. And then chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next. And then chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. Continue that same pattern going all the way around for round number 11. So I'm coming all the way around I'm just gonna chain one and then just slip stitch to the first single crochet to finish. Please fasten this yarn off and then we're gonna continue into round number 12. So back to the diagram we go. So we're gonna be starting off right here in this chain one space. This is just before we um, did the slip stitch. Single crochet and then in the chain two spaces it's all gonna be the same. Half double crochet, double, treble, double, half all there. And then we're going to single crochet in the next chain one space. So just think about it every chain two space has this configuration of a shell and then every chain one space has a single crochet and you're gonna repeat that going all the way around. So we're gonna be switching our color now to C. Let's begin round number 12. So let's begin in the chain one space just before you did the slip stitching and there we go and I'm gonna do a standing single. And uh, I'm going to just lay this down on top and I'm just immediately gonna come to the next chain two space, go right up over top of it. So I'm going to do a half double crochet. So here's the sequence, so half and then a double and then a treble is wrapping twice 
and then a double and a half. Okay, and then in the next chain one space just put a single crochet. So you can see I put that underneath the stitches but you don't see where um, it's bleeding through so it's pretty good. So next chain two space is exactly the same. So just a half, a double, a treble, a double, and a half. And then one single crochet in the next chain one space. So please do that all the way around. This is round number 12. So I'm coming to the end of round number 12. There should be 22 of these petals going all the way around. So slip stitch, I did double check just to make sure um, myself but I also checked the pattern too. So let's get rid of this yarn and move on to round number 13. So round number 13 we are going to start off here and I did read the instructions to make sure I understand. So what I need you to do is that we're gonna be doing a single crochet in each one of these and we're gonna start in the first one of the shell. So single, single, the top one will have three singles and then single, single. Now this double crochet is going right up over top into this spot right here. This empty one. So you're gonna go right through over top of this and, and encase this underneath the stitch. Okay, so it's not on our front or behind, it's around the stitch and I'll show you that. So when you're coming all the way down, you're actually coming right here in three rows below. Let's begin round number 13. So let's begin round number 13 and we're using the color E. In this case, it's a, te a heather teal for me. So I'm gonna start off in the first half double crochet of one of these shells. Okay, and I am going to do a standing single crochet. And then in the next one I'm going to do a single crochet. And then the, the next one is a treble so there's gonna be three single crochets there. Noticing that I'm going right up over top of the tail itself so that I can hide that. Now we're going to do one single crochet in the remaining coming down. And this is where we're gonna do the double crochet. So the double crochet is into this stitch right here. All the way down there. So what you're gonna do is wrap the hook and going in to that stitch, let the yarn fall to the other side so it'll come through and then just give it a little bit of slack so just pull up on a little bit and then finish it as a double crochet. See it's going right up over top of everything. So starting in the next one, single crochet, single crochet. Okay that's part of the next shell. There's three, so one, two, and three and then single crochet and single crochet. And now we're gonna come into this one all the way down here. So wrap the hook going straight down, pull up, give it a little bit of slack and then finish it as a double crochet just like that. So continue that and this is gonna be row number 13 or round, or thir round number 13 sorry. So I'm coming all the way back around and I'm just following the pattern as we know it and don't forget to come down and do that last double crochet that goes right up over top of everything to finish off and slip stitch to the beginning single crochet to finish. So we're gonna go back to the diagram so get rid of this uh, color and we'll move on to something new. So we're gonna move on now to round number 14. We're gonna start off with the back loop only. That's what that um, symbol is if you're looking at the stitch diagram. We're gonna single crochet into this. So we're just going to make sure that we do that. So I would do a standing single crochet in the back loop only. And then we're gonna reach over to where this double crochet is and do a treble, three doubles and what treble. So then when you come back around, so the next one will be in the back loop only. It'll be a single crochet in the middle one of the grouping of three and then again just reaching over to the double crochet. So you can see it's a kind of an easy one to go. So we're gonna be moving then on to, this is round number 14 and this color states that it's F. So let's move on to number 14 using F. So let's begin round number 14. So we're just gonna start off in the, the middle one of the grouping of three at the top of a point and go in the back loop only and have it on the hook already so that you can do a standing single. So pull through and then pull through two. Leave this straggler for you to fasten it later. I tried to hide it here. This is take number two and it just is too far away. So coming right to immediately to the double crochet that's coming all the way down and you're going to start off with the treble and then three doubles. So three double crochets. So one, two, and three 
and then finish it off with the treble. And when you're done that come to the grouping of three that's at the top here and go to the middle one and just in the back loop only just do a single crochet. So I'll show you one more time. So just wrap the hook twice to get ready and in the double crochet that's heading straight on down you're going to do a treble and then three doubles and then another treble and then reach on over to the back loop only of the middle one of the grouping of three and single crochet. So please do that all the way around. This is round number 14. So I've just filled in my last shell here. Remember we started off in the back loop of the first one and we're just gonna get rid of this now. Slip stitch, get rid of this yarn and let's move on to round number 15. Let's begin row number 15. We're gonna start off in the back loop only of a single crochet and we're gonna chain three which will count as a double crochet and then you will double crochet in the same one. So the repeat pattern for this is the next five in the back loops will be a double crochet and then the sixth one will be sharing. So it'll be two double crochet in the same one. So you're gonna do that all the way around in the back loops only and you can see how it comes around and we are now moving on to color B. So let's begin round number 15. So let's start B and we're gonna start in a single crochet in the back loop only and I'm going to pull through a stitch and then chain three which will count as a double crochet and this going right over top of the straggler just double crochet again. So there'll be two. So the next five in a row and do you see that there's five in the shell? So that makes it easy right? So there's gonna be one double crochet in each. So one, two but if you're looking at the shell you don't really need to count. So three, four and five and then immediately in the next single crochet in the back loop only that you are going to just then put in two double crochets. So we have one and two and then keep moving around. So the next five by itself and then the next one in the single crochet will have two. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 15. So I came all the way around and I double crocheted right to the very last one and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three and get rid of this color and let's move along to round number 16. Moving along to round number 16 we're gonna change to the color D and we are just going to put in in the back loop only just uh, starting off and we are just going to put in one double crochet in each stitch. So there's no growth on this one. Let the project relax a little bit and then we are going to continue then into 17. So round number 16 one double crochet in each of the back loops all the way around. So let's start I would actually start with the standing double crochet. I found that when you chain up three it does stand out. So just uh, wrap the hook first. So put it on and then wrap the hook first and go into back loop only and then just putting the straggler down on top and just double crochet in the back loop. And I would go over a few of those and then just hide and just leave that tail to the back. So it's gonna be just one double crochet in each of the um, back loops all the way around. So there's no growth on this and let's continue then into this round, round number 16. So I'm coming to the end of round number 16. Let's get rid of this color and move on to 17 next. Let's move on to round number 17. We're gonna work in the back loop only again and we're gonna chain up three and it's gonna be a one double crochet in the same one. There's a trick to number 17 and I just did the mathematics just to make sure that it's right because I wasn't sure. So the next uh, six, so one, two, three, four, five, six is gonna be a uh, double crochet and then it's two. So it goes six and two and six and two. Now the instructions say in the last seven stitches are each a double crochet. If we follow the instructions and go all the way around of, of, of two and then six, two and then six and etc. you will end up with 176 stitches but the designer wants us to end up with 175. So she's saying the last seven stitches of this round just have to be one double crochet. So we're kind of eliminating one of the increases on the outside. It'll make sense I'm sure. So let's begin round number 17. Let's begin round number 17. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna start off with just a standing double crochet and then I'm putting two into the back loop only and then the next six in a row in the back loops only is gonna be one double crochet. So one, two, three, 
four, five, and six. So once you have your six done, then it's gonna be two into the next one. And I want you to continue that all the way around, but meet me on the final seven stitches because we wanna make sure that we're breaking that apart right at the end so that we're not continuing the same thing going all the way around so that we end up with 175 stitches instead of 176. So as we come all the way around, if I did the repeat, so there was gonna be six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. The next one would have been a double, okay? So it's telling us the last seven stitches are each a single. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means that we're not making this one here a double. So essentially we have a wide, wider section where it's all just double crochets. So that's how she's asking us to do it and then that will bring us to an odd number of 176 instead of 176. Or sorry, 175 instead of 176. So that's uh, how they're doing it. We'll see how it works out as we go along. It's a nice way to be able to change the stitch counts without being really noticeable as well. Um, I've done that before with the study of planet earth as well. So just uh, coming across, just join it and let's get rid of this color and let's move along to round number um, 18. Sorry, sheet's too far away. Um, is it 18? Yes it is. We'll see you in a second. In round number 18 we're going to move up and we're gonna just start in the back loop only again and we're gonna have six single crochets in a row and then two and six and two and you wanna do that all the way around and that will bring us to a count of one, or sorry, of uh, 200. So um, let's begin to do that and it's just basically six um, single crochets by themselves and two to, in the same one. Let's begin that next. So let's begin Round number 18. You should know that 18, 19, and 20 are using the same color, so please don't fasten off at the end of this round. So let's start in the back loop only. We're gonna do a standing single crochet and that will count as one of the six that are by themselves. And so we do the next uh, five. So two, three, four, five. Okay, so I wanna count, so we have six by itself, so one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one is in, and then the next one has two in it, one and two. So the next six are by themselves, and then two in the next, six and then two. Please do that all the way around. This is round number 18. So in the very final one, you just put your two in there, and then you should end up with 200. I am going to recount before I fasten off now, and making sure I do have 200 stitches and if I have to backtrack a little bit just to add an extra one or take it one, I'll do that right now. So let's uh, just finish this round off and let's move on. Oh, by the way, don't finish, uh, don't uh, cut this yarn. You wanna keep it. So off camera, I did actually count my stitches to make sure that I have the right number. So 200 is my number. So I am not fastening off and I'm just immediately going to chain four which will count as a double crochet and a chain one space. Skipping one stitch, chain uh, double crochet, chain one, skipping one stitch, double crochet. So every other um, stitch pretty much has a double crochet with a chain one that separates it. Let's move on to round number 19 and we're using the same color so please don't fasten off. A nice easy round for you, you're gonna chain four. So the first three here is a double crochet and the fourth is a chain one space. Skipping the next one and double crocheting the one after that and you're gonna do that all the way around. According to the instructions it says that you will end up with 100 chain one spaces and you may wanna verify that. Well when I say might, I would actually verify that, that you have these uh, 100 chain one spaces that will go around. So it'll be nice like a picket fence. Please do that and I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm just coming all the way back around and I chained one and I'm just going to join to the third chain up of the beginning. I have verified off camera as well that there is 100 of these um, spaces of the chain one spaces going all the way around. Let's move on now. Let's not change our color yet and let's move on to round number 20. In round number 20 what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna slip stitch to the beginning uh, sorry, to the chain one space which is next and there will be two single crochets in there. So each one of these two single crochets in there will be all in this space. So there's nothing in the double crochets but just in the space itself. So two singles in each space. Let's move on to round number 20. So moving along I want to just slip stitch to the chain one space and chain one and then put in two single crochets there. Then move to the next one and put two singles in there too. So I want you to do that all the way around, two single crochets in each of the chain one spaces as you go. Please do that now. 
So I'm just coming all the way back around. This is round <laughs> number uh, 19 and I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning and uh, fasten that off at this point. So let's move on to round number 20 next. Moving on to round number 21 we're gonna use the color F as in Frank as we move on. So we're gonna be doing these clusters. So we're gonna start off in one single crochet, chain three and then double crochet and that will equal that one cluster. Then you'll chain one, skip one, cluster in the next. Chain one, skip one, cluster in the next and we're gonna be doing that all the way around for round number 21. So we're not gonna be using any back loops at this moment. So we're just gonna just start in one. So just slip stitch and chain three. So one, two, three and double crochet in the same one. And that will equal one cluster. Chain one, then move and skip one and go to the next one and go right up over top of the straggler. Actually you know what, leave the straggler behind. Let's fasten that off properly and skip one and do a cluster. So it's a two double crochet together. So just going in, pull through two and then going in, same one, pull through, pull through two and then pull through all three loops. So then chain one, moving and we're going to skip the next one and go to the second one over. Okay, so pull through two, hold it and then wrap again in the same one, pull through and then pull through all three loops, chain one, skip one and do the same in the next. And you're gonna do that all the way around and these are clusters. Make sure you do chain one after you get them done and I will see you at the end of this round. Whoops, don't finish it yet. <laughs> Make sure you do your cluster and then move on after you chain one. So I'm getting all the way around. I have verified there is 100 clusters and 100 chain one spaces. So I'm going to get rid of this yarn now and let's move on to round number 22. We're now gonna move on to round number 22. So what we're going to do here, I did verify the counts. So I'm going to start off in a chain one space and chain three and double crochet into the same space. Chain three and two double crochets into the same space. I'm going to skip the next space and go to the second one over and two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet and I'm gonna repeat that all the way across. So essentially every other chain one space has this and you'll see that work out really quite lovely. So let's move on to round number 22 using the color C. So let's go into a chain one space. I'm starting just before I finish that last one. So the last space before I slip stitched and chain three and put in two, or sorry, one more double crochet and then chain three. So one, two, three and two more double crochet into that same space. I'm now going to just let the straggler fall down to the back. Skip the next space, go to the second one over and do the same thing. So it's gonna be two double crochet, one and two, chain three and then two more double crochet and please repeat that all the way around. This is round number 22. I'm just finishing up round number 22 and I'm just joining it to the top of the beginning chain three that I started with. Fasten this off and let's move on to round number 23. So I've come all the way around here on round number 22 and what I want you not to do is don't fasten off. We're gonna continue then with this same color going into round number 23. So 22 and 23 are the same color. So let's move along to round number 23. We're gonna slip stitch here into the chain three space, chain one and we're going to do a half, a double, a treble, half or double and a half. We've done that before way back in the beginning. Do you remember that week number one? So then you're gonna chain one and then do it again in the next chain three space. So half, double, treble, double, half, chain one and etc. So we're gonna do that and let's move on to round number 23. So full disclaimer, I accidentally did fasten off. I, <laughs> it was actually an outtake that I left in there before saying don't because it was actually already, if I just would have pulled it up you would have noticed it was fastened <laughs> off already. So I'm just gonna start off in the chain th uh, three space and I'm just going to slip stitch it to join and then chain one. So it doesn't really matter, right? Okay, let's continue. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna do a, a half and then a double and then a treble and then a double and a half. So all that's going on inside there. I'm just gonna let the stragglers fall out. So just chain up one and then move to the next chain three space. So just start immediately and do a half, a double, 
a treble, a double, and a half. And then after that chain one and do that in the next chain three space way over here. So that's what it's gonna look like and let's continue then into round number 23 doing the same idea. So I'm just coming all the way back around. I'm just finished off with the half double crochet and then I'm just going to join it. Uh, make sure you chain one first, sorry, and then make sure that I've already chained one. So make sure that you just join it to the beginning one that you started with. Let's move on now to round number 24. We got this 24 and 25 left for today's video and then we're moving on next week. So round number 23. We're going to start off and we are going to work our way in to this area. So we're gonna start right here. So we're gonna start on the second one which is the double crochet and do your single crochet. The middle ones, the trebles, will have three single crochets in them and then the next one on the other side will have a single crochet by itself. This is a spike. So it's a three together spike. So we're gonna go and use the first one which is the half double. We are going to reach down and it's a double crochet and we're gonna go right in between these here and then we're gonna then pick up this one here. So all three stitches will become one and then we start up the next one here. So we're gonna do a single crochet, three into the next which is the treble and then one by itself and then a spike which is en encompassing three which will then go down into this area. We are going to move on to color E for this one, round number 24. So let's begin round number 24. Start with a slip knot and I want you to go to the double crochet that's just before the treble and that's where I want you to do a standing single crochet. Pull through the two loops and put that straggler around at the top so you can hold it. So in the treble you are going to put in three single crochets. This is gonna be a neat stitch. Watch how it goes out. The next one is gonna be a single crochet by itself and now the next one, the half double, this space down here and the half double on this side. Make sure you get the right one for the half double. It's right there. See this loop? That's part of the first one so make sure you use that one. We're gonna put that together. So going into the first stitch here, yarning over pulling it through. Okay. Then you're going to spike it down here so it's a double crochet. So wrap the yarn and going in between the space and pull up. Just give it a bit of slack and then pull through two and hold it. And then the next is a half double crochet and the top of it is right here. And so pull through. So you'll have four loops on your hook. You're gonna pull through all four. So that's your spike. So now let's go up and I'll show you again. So the next one is a single. And now the top one here is a treble so there's gonna be three. So one, two, and three. And then the next one's by itself and then we're gonna do a spike. So the next one is pick it up and hold it. Go into the space. So yarning over, down into the space, pull through, give it a bit of slack, pull through two and hold it. That's a double crochet. And then you're gonna go into the next one here, going in, pull through. Four loops again, pull through all you're ready to go. So the next one single and then three single and spike and etc. And it will be looking like that by the time you get around. I'll see you at the end of this round. So I've just come all the way back around. I finished with the spike and then I'm gonna just join it to the beginning single crochet that we started with. So at this point we have one more round to go. I know it's been a lot. Just for transparency I actually filmed week one and two all in the same day. It's now approaching the evening here in Nova Scotia so it's completely dark out. Um, I am loving this project so much. I'm, I'm struggling to put it down. I just love the mental challenge and I love how the colors are just working out. I just wanna do like all of this overnight um, but I won't but that's kind of wishful thinking. So we're now going to just put down this hook and we're now gonna switch back to a five and a half millimeter size I crochet hook in order to do round 25. It's the only time I believe that we're gonna be switching the hook to be lower um, and that's the only time I think. So we're gonna be switching to color A and let's go back to the diagram and do the last round for today. So let's begin. We're going to do trebles this whole thing. We're using a smaller hook a size uh, five millimeter, 5.5 millimeter size I. And what we're going to do is that we're gonna start off in the first single crochet and then each one of these single crochets are going to get here um, a treble. The one here, this is a front post treble and it's gonna go right around the spike. 
Okay, so make sure you grab that and then continue along. So there's no growth as far as adding more stitches. You just have to follow along and it's a trouble pretty much. Just keep your eye in the middle. So there, this means that there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five trebles that stand alone and then before the, the front post um, treble that you will do. Let's begin the final round number 25 using the color A. So let's begin round 25. This is take three. So I'm just getting the wrong uh, area of the stitch. So I've been noticing this. So I keep re reading the instructions. So I wanna join into the first one going up two things. So if you look at it here, it is like a shell. So I wanna go in the first single crochet of the shell and I wanna attach and then chain four and that counts as your first treble. So in the, sa uh, in the same shell, just working your way up, wrap the hook twice and you're gonna be trebling and there will be five trebles in a row when you're working in the shell work. So I'm, I'm not gonna count it when I'm on my own. I'm just looking for where the signs show me that I'm done making those. So the next one here is the spike. I can see that. So when I do the spike, I'm gonna wrap the hook twice or when I do the front post treble, I should say. I'm gonna go around the leg. See this here? That's the leg. So I'm just gonna pull it up, give it a bit of slack and then pull through two two and two and that will cause that color to sink down. So let's start going up the next side. So just in the first single crochet going up and there will be five trebles in a row. Again I'm not counting I'm looking for the obvious signs. Maybe for tutorial reasons I should be counting but who knows at this point right. Okay so I got five and then I'm gonna wrap the hook twice and I'm gonna come down to the leg and then pull through. Give it a bit of slack. Just be consistent with the slack and then you see it will drop down like that. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 25. This is the final round for today's video and we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so this is it for now and we're just going to, I just made sure I came down in and then I'm just attaching it to the top of the chain four and we're gonna get rid of this yarn and you're gonna see me next time as we continue our journey on the Mandela. I am loving this beyond belief and I hope that you are too. So have a good one. Make sure you post your photos there on the Crochet Crowd. I wanna see. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.